three painters who would like to work on the story element of Saint Peter, Saint Peter, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> of Peter Green and the birds. There are three artists, I'm pretty sure. Three painters of the court. Yes, one is there. The other one was there. And wh who is the third one? Who 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 is working? Yes, Tillman. Please, you can you can go there already. There are some two more painters here on this. Alatila is one of them. Mm -hmm. And who are the other two painters uh -huh. of the royal palace? Okay. No. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> and one more painter. Here. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Who is the third painter here? And the roses, I <laughs> knew. You can come for the roses. Oh. Yes. Mona, come for the roses. Oh, eyes on her. Oh. Yes, it's fine. And before you start drawing, I just you can use all the colors of each other, but there's a contest at the at the royal court, and and they said that that who who will paint the the most beautiful picture of the court is going to receive the gift of the king, which is what. Wait, 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 wait a second. Oh, it's already started. Come on. They, they had they had the contest. Yeah. First of all, they also have to work and make some signs uh, and, and some other elements of the story inside the picture. So other elements of the story could be painted there and that specific element of the story as well. So you're free to do what you want. <laughs>
you did when when she's working with music or with these focusing stuff it's not only about the passing around these things but also using the creativity using the music and also play with the pitch with the volume with the character of the sound and with those musical elements Anna has a huge experience um, actually they live in a different city because uh, Judith is, uh, lives in Zola Gerseg which is far far away to the west very close to the Austrian border to the south actually a little bit and Anna lives in Budapest and, and what she uses in the tales is, of course you noticed, but, but it's, a, it's a wonderful way of involving somehow without, without even asking or telling to participate, but very in a very natural way, just, they just bring in, bring in people, bring in children, and with a very, uh, a very small range of tools, immediately they start playing and they start to perform and be part of the tale itself and just like just like she did with the king for example uh, she said okay and the king says puff and leaves it up absolutely for the children or for the participant what they say and they can invent something if it goes in a, uh, if it's aligned with the story it's fine if not she can make some uh, modifications but what is important that to give the floor to to the kids and Yuri, who will meet tomorrow, who you will meet tomorrow, Yuri is the visual artist, who explained to me how he wanted these visual parts. Yuri uh, told me that, that, for example, this idea is that very often he works based on some specific experiences that they do together with the children, so they have one common experience. In this case, we had the tale, we had, we, we had the story of Peter Green, and, and that's the basic story. And his idea was to use the bodies of children to create the basis of the picture and, and then to make it as rich as possible with, with any other elements which the children can fill in and, and, and can develop their own universe in, in within the picture. So that was the idea of, of Judy. And my last idea was, and that's why I asked Louise to give uh, feedback, because it can be also the artist or a teacher that we make an agreement with, that, uh, that for example, can give a very uh, strong and positive feedback, any kind. So all the pictures are the best pictures from one point of view or one, from one perspective. And, and it could be understood in a way that that or the artist or the or the teacher or really the king of the class can give a positive feedback uh, to each of the drawings or, or or the things and highlight the 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 real values of the picture. So as a summary, I would I would give these few words at the end, and maybe maybe now you've got a half an hour coffee break, so we can still stay in the room and ask a couple of questions and discuss a bit. Sure, question why we interested to everybody that. Did you tell that mm -hmm. he has to tell the positive sides of all pictures, or was it his decision as a king, you know, like a king? positive king, mm -hmm. or it's it's the way how you um, wanted to? In this specific case, yep. I went to Luis and I asked him to do that. Okay. So it can be an agreement between the artist and the teacher. Because for me, it uh, was like a real-time thing. So he was maybe. Yeah. So professional it that it, so it seemed <laughs> it seemed like uh, you know like so a natural, spontaneous yeah. spontaneous yeah. thing, and I just asked the question after you told us the whole story. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I won't, I wouldn't ask because it was so spontaneous how he did. Yeah, but I think it's it's a real risk if if someone is not so spontaneous as he is. I completely agree. Otherwise, agreed. okay, I, I don't I don't believe him. He I likes one, but he doesn't want to tell. Yeah. Uh, I completely agree with that. It was just an idea, and Luis was a very good partner really with that. Good. And if you find a good partner for yeah. that, you can do that. Or otherwise, you make a different kind of evaluation with all together with the group okay. and say that okay, what's the best in that picture? Or find those elements which you like okay. whatsoever. Anna, you wanted to say something. Yeah, I wanted only to tell that uh, uh, those storytellings, uh, for example. Um, with a lot of different things from Africa or South America or I don't know um, or history in, in historical um, 
situations uh, with a lot of details uh, because I didn't have now time for the details, you know, uh, it was half an hour only and with, because of my English I didn't have uh, language for the details but you can paint all the details uh, of a culture, of a situation. I wanted to tell only that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.